What's up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here. We are back in the world of FTB Ultimate, or Unleashed. <laughs> One of them, their things. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at... Um, hang on. There we go. We're going to be taking a look at Muffet's base. Now, Muffet has built this structure right here. I assume he's doing the top, and, and the top only. But you can see he's got... Um, something in each of these little cylinders down here. I'm assuming that's where he's got the steam engines actually recessed into the ground and hidden. So we've got our nice little beacon here. What's the, what's the sign say? No usage of rooftop at version 1.0. Okay. That's kind of cool. So this is what this is what would be visible on the outside. So if we just we just zoom around here, you can see and apparently it's got three entrances. Which is kind of cool. So we got we got multiple entrances. I believe this over here is the main entrance. So we will, we will come through here first. Tour, please go straight and read signs. All right. Well, before I read the signs, I'm going to take a look at just the general view of things. Looks like we've got uh, several. Are these are these iron tanks? No, these are blocks of quartz. Okay, so these are not iron tanks. Just different lit rooms, I guess. For, for visual sake, it looks like we've got... Okay! Alright, so this makes sense. What he's got, I guess each of these are in... Well, well, we'll go read the damn signs. We'll read the damn signs. Alright, go straight. These slabs are optional, so I guess he's talking about this right here. Uh, middle click, frame, on creative or punch in survival. Please read the book. Middle click, alright. The book says... Project information, additional squad, all right. Hello and welcome to the tour The tour based map show off. Now I'll show you power room, which has been made just for pyrostasis, ultimate building contest. This structure contains main room, where you are now, the basement, which should be underground for better view, and the roof, which do not have any uses yet, place for farm, or for tree farm. Please follow the signs and read other books. They contain information about machine rooms, where steam boilers are, what you can find at control room, or what materials are used. I've set up everything to check if it's working, as you should. You may find big iron tank at 7, 7 by 8, which I guess is in the middle. And some biofuel in it. Six machine rooms have been placed around in honeycomb shape. There are four entrances. Oh, oh, the English language is crying. Which might be destroyed. You may also find control room in the basement. There's another book describing what you can find. I have built two sample boiler setups. Prefer second one. And a sample setup to show how it was made. Finally... At last, or however you want to call it, there are some additional informations. His YouTube link, youtube.com, zero muffet zero, and my webpage, uh, which you can read there. Muffet signs out. All right, so there shouldn't be this hole. All right, so I'm assuming he's got this hole here so I can come down and take a look. So it looks like he's got uh, these liquid ducts right here actually aren't needed um, because the thing will suck it right out. Uh, anyways, but I can see what he was doing there. So that's the steam engine set up there. And then uh, we've got a red conduit pipe there. Let's see. Tour, please read book. Is this the same book? I set up I don't really like symmetrical buildings, but for aesthetic sake, I made it. There are six main rooms on each side, which are made for machines, steam boilers, and engines. And I've also made fancy walls for the building, but don't really know how to make a ceiling. It may be done already, but I'm writing it before I start to finalize the project here. Blah, blah, blah. I've also made the control room in the basement. Just go through the iron doors. Um, okay, so I guess these right here are rooms for machines. And then the boilers are actually located below, which I kind of like. It's kind of a cool setup. I think this is his other steam boiler setup where he uses a different setup. Again, probably going to be using my own setup because I, I don't like those. Let's take a look at the control room, which is down here. Uh, don't know how to get slabs, but glowstone is good underground. All right, fair enough. Please read book. Control room. Welcome to the control room. On the left side, you may find room three, which shows how machine rooms look like. Of course, the sample building, blah, blah, blah. There are liquid X placed in the ground and glass covers. All rooms are connected right now. There is also control of redstone signal. Of course, furniture of the room, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for your patience. Read all this crap. Next time, I'll make a video tour. No worries. Um... So, he's got a boiler actually inside this wall here, which is cool. Uh, it's going to run down this red conduit. 
steam boiler three. This is how the boiler that's inside that wall is set up, which is more or less, oh wait, oh okay, I see what you got. Interesting. Oh, what are these blocks? These are cool. Etched sandy stones, I like those. Uh, steam boiler two wireless control, so I can turn it on or off. You can see it's starting up right there, the engines are pumping. You can actually hear the steam noise. That's kind of cool. We can turn it off. Uh, what is this? Steam boiler, four sides. So this one is the manual switch. I, of course, prefer the wireless method, which is awesome. Kudos points for that. This is the giant um, tank where I guess he's got the biofuel set up, which is probably what he's running it off of. And we've got all the boilers. So we've got a boiler here, boiler here, that's two. Boiler here, that's three. Boiler here, that's four. The boiler here, that's five. Where is six? Am I missing it? I guess this one right here is the one that was a was a demo, so it's not actually made. And I'm pretty sure if we come upstairs, we can see. Yeah, these are, would be where they would locate it. So, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be all six steam boilers. So. I guess criticism wise, what I would probably do is I would reduce the size of this tank in the center below because um, there, there's no real reason to have it here in the middle. Um, and then I do like the boiler tanks. I like the self-contained boiler tanks. That's a really nice setup there. I really like the, the idea because basically I probably wouldn't do the steam glass on top of here, at least not the colored glass. I might do tinted glass. Uh, kind of like Dutch did in his version. Uh, if I can remember... Yeah, I think it's this right here. No. Where's the glass? Is it stained glass? Clear glass. White stained glass. Was it these? It was either this or this. So yeah, I would probably use this one here. Yeah, that's what I would use. Because it just, I mean, it's that's fucking awesome looking. Because it looks like you're walking, it looks like you're walking on air, honestly. I mean, when you come stepping on that, it's like, whoa, you know? And that's where the steam engine would be. So, uh, and then you could have all your machines lined up here. You could have the power coming in through the bottom, however you'd like. So, I, I like this one. This is, uh, this is a neat little setup. Um... The only other thing, only other complaint I might have is this right here. It'd be nice if maybe you mirrored it for the OCD people so that uh, you could go down through there. Uh, and I do want to take one more look at the downstairs because I, I wasn't really looking, looking when I was down here. Um, again, the tank, I, 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 I honestly think I would move the tank out of here. I just, I don't like the setup of the tank. And that might be me being nitpicky. I just, I, I really don't like the setup. I do like all the piping though. I, I really like the way he went through the piping setup. I think that's really cool the way he's got that going. And I think the wireless signal is amazing. Uh, I think that is that is really nice. And you can see that's, you know, firing up the power and rocking and rolling already. So that's, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. I, I like that a lot. So... Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is this one a thumbs up? Is this one a thumbs down? Do you think this is the winner? Or do you like one of the other ones? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, if you like the video, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next club.